Hi again, breakfast cereal eaters, and welcome to another edition of What's in the Box. So what have we got this time? Well, this is from 1990, and it's Kellogg's Raisin Splits Illusion Cards. Let's take a look. So on the back of the packet, because uh, unfortunately I don't have the front, uh, you've got examples of three of the illusions. Uh, a couple of these are fairly uh, common ones. So you've got these sort of straight lines, but they look bendy, and you've got the uh, three cricket stumps. This is fairly reminiscent of the Shreddy's Amazing Mazes that I've featured previously. But you've got this one, which is a nice one as well, which is the old woman, young woman, and uh, uh, that's a very sort of popular illusion. It's also got details about how to send away for uh, these cards. So you needed six tokens. You got three in these packets. Uh, sent that away and you then received this nice deck of cards. Uh, obviously clearly branded raisin splits. Inside you've got uh, a couple of cards just talking about uh, illusions in general and uh, also making some specific references to some of the actual illusions themselves so that you can uh, then look this up to see what the answer is where there was a question uh, and the same applied with this second card as well around the aces kings queens and so forth so uh, it was a set of playing cards at the end of the day they're all standard playing cards but you've got some really nice ones here like uh, you know which nation does this flag represent well Clearly it's Great Britain, but the intention is if you stare long enough at that and then you sort of close your eyes, you can start to then uh, see the image of uh, the Union Jack. You get, uh, you know, other black sides inside or outside. Which arc comes from the largest circle? That's quite a good one. Is it a crater? Or is it a hill? We've got the... Uh, old woman one that I mentioned earlier where you can see the old woman that's her mouth and her nose or it might be a younger woman where that's her hair and she's looking away into the distance uh, we've shown that one as well the straight lines you know what is this looks like it's uh, maybe the uh, points of a crown as opposed to that which is I don't know teeth or clouds or something visual vibration you've got another one of these sort of optical illusions where you're not quite sure uh, which way up that particular brick is what's this one which set of eights and s's look uh, more symmetrical i imagine they're all the same there's another just weird one here does the figure uh, pop in or out oh, i see P, I don't know. This one here, this is one where they recommend you actually photocopy it and put it on because I think you put a, a pin through the middle and then spin it and you get different colours. And that's another one where they say which colours are, which colours are different, I think it is, but I think they're all the same reds. So here we go, you've got a, a young woman or a grouchy old clown <laughs> I remember lots of those when we were kids uh, does A or B continue to C so A, B, C so it looks like it's B oh, no it's not I think it's yeah B what is that that's uh, obviously you look at that and then look into the distance and you'll see that that's the Mediterranean and there's Italy. So, does this figure move? And I, I won't go through all of them, but you'll see that there's loads and loads and loads of different illusions. So uh, really fun. I really like this. And I like the fact that they are playing cards as well as uh, as well as illusion cards. So I guess it uh, keeps you a bit more interested if you're playing a game of something or other. That's quite a good one, the duck or the hare. Anyway, that's enough for those. In fact, that one looks a bit like one of the amazing mazes that we featured on the Shreddies one as well. So if you're interested in this and other serial offers, please subscribe to this channel, like and share the clips, 
or visit my website serialoffers.com and click on catalogs.